is up guys welcome to the being beautifully honest podcast and channel thanks for being here being subbed if you're not hit the button and if you're listening on youtube hit the like it's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch let's brighten up the place and get into the real of reality tv so winter who was previously on love and marriage dc which i honestly I, I I would say I liked better than Love and Marriage Huntsville, but yet and still, it definitely had its imperfections. And she said she is no longer part of the cast. She will not be coming back. She has been speaking out a good bit. Now, I was listening to some commentary that she gave, and I will give credit where credit is due because I was listening to a, um, a podcast that True T did, and she shared some commentary that Winter was talking about over there on her YouTube channel. And I will admit, I'm not really on social media that much, so I don't really know who has channels, who doesn't. I don't really do a whole lot on Instagram and things like that. But um, I guess she's newer over here on YouTube. So I went over and I subscribed to her channel and I listened to several of her videos, some that had nothing to do with reality TV and definitely some that did, but she's been speaking out a good bit. And I know Melody did as well. And it definitely sounds like to me that maybe reality TV and the era of reality TV isn't going away anytime soon, but it definitely sounds like some changes need to be made. And 100% when it comes to Carlos, because it definitely sounds like to me that Melody and for sure Winter have been airing their grievances where it involves Carlos because Carlos is definitely messy even if he may not want to claim that he is or he wants to play on the words by doing the messy Mondays with Dr. Heavenly to say yeah we're being messy but this isn't really mess we're just talking about you know, what's out there, he is messy. And even Dr. Heavenly admitted that she didn't really want to do that much anymore, but yeah, she's still doing it. (laughs) So I don't know if she's just going to ride it out through the end of the year, or maybe like she's stuck in a semester, like in college and she's got to finish the semester out. I don't know. (laughs) But to me, it really sounds like Carlos tries to pass the buck throw the rock and hide his hands. And when it came to the girls trip that they had on Love and Marriage Huntsville, Dr. Heavenly and Carlos were having a discussion about when reality TV shows do these girls trips and and the room situation, whatever, but whatever, because they were basically trying to pit it on Melody that she was being messy with the room situation and that production had nothing to do with it. Listen, I don't know. I'm not behind the scenes. I I, I really don't know all of that, but I don't think Melody was too happy about that, probably amongst other things. And we know that Winter has definitely been calling a whole lot out when it comes to the things that are allowed to happen, not just on the show, but off of the show the cyberbullying, the the plots and the schemes and to try to make someone look the wickedest and, you know, whatever. And I do believe that Monique Samuels was not really a friend to her because she said, she pretty much said that Monique was the one that kind of brought her into the fold but did not really forewarn her. And then we know Monique, she hightailed it up out of there after the first season of Love and Marriage DC. And I believe it was partially due to Carlos and the messiness as well as the pay. (laughs) I mean, she accepted it at first. So I, that's why I don't believe that it was just about the pay because I don't believe that the pay differentiated that much from the first season than it did the second. And I don't think that she could really believe that she would start out with a low ball offer and then to come back, they would really jump it up so much more than what she was initially receiving. I don't believe, I don't believe that that was ever a thing. I believe for Monique, it was more so, yeah, 
the clock is ticking. I'm getting close to that 10 years on my prenuptial agreement. I don't really want to be with this N word no more. So I'm going to go ahead, get up off of this show and play my cards right so that I can move on with my life and get out of this marriage. And that's what I believe had a lot to do with because she wasn't really looking too good being on that show. But this isn't about her. I just wanted to mention that because Winter did mention Monique. And I'm like, well, yeah, Monique wasn't really a friend to you. She didn't really show herself to be much of a friend while she was on the show with her, in my personal opinion. So that's why I felt like the show did better when Monique was off of there. But I wasn't a part of it. So I can't say that Winter should have been happy with anything that she was dealing with on that show. She clearly had a lot of stuff that she experienced on show, filming, behind the scenes, how dirty things are, how they could be filming, paying for stylists, makeup artists, all of these different things to to film. But that doesn't guarantee that what they film is going to be on any episodes and they're only paid per episode. And there was a time when they weren't paid for like about three months and she kept having to call, email, text message, send people over, knocking on doors. Now I'm adding that. I'm not saying that she said that, but uh, yeah. And it's like, what the heck? I don't believe I've ever heard of anyone on Bravo Honestly, any other network for that matter, any other reality show, I've never heard of anyone having to deal with not getting paid and having to wait three months before they got paid because they wanted to, they didn't know what was going to air and they wanted to make sure that the people are only getting paid for the episodes that they are in that are airing. That's craziness to me. I, I, I don't blame her for leaving that toxicity and then... It makes even more sense to me now why Melody, I believe, I I didn't hear her call it any name, so I can only assume, I believe she's been calling out Carlos and the messiness of Dr. Heavenly with things that they are insinuating about her that happens on the show. Because when they were talking, I'm sorry, I cannot listen to Dr. Heavenly and Carlos together because it's already a hard listen listening to him and his voice. So to listen to both of them speaking to each other, Dr. Heavenly, and Carlos, (laughs) I'm sorry. That's what it's, that's what their voices sound like to me. So to have both of those combined, oh my God, I can't do it. I cannot do it. So I have to listen to other people talk about it. It may be a clip here and there, but listening to them together for the entirety of their shenanigans, I can't do it. I can't. So with that being said, I believe that they were discussing the room situation and I don't believe that Melody was one, you know, none too happy about that, especially knowing the truth. And two, like I said before, Melody is an executive producer on the show. She's still a part of the show. She's still a cast member and she's still working. So it's like, yeah, she has to do some things in order to make it a bit interesting. Although I'm not, I'm not watching it. I'm not supporting, I'm not supporting it for a multitude of reasons. And even in me not supporting it, I haven't seen a whole lot when it comes to the show, but it does look like Hotel's been cut out of it a great deal because when I was on the Instagram blog that shows a lot of the clips of the shows, I saw that it said that a new episode did not air this past Saturday and that the season finale is coming up next weekend. So from the clips that I've seen, I don't think that they've shown that much of Hotel. So I know he's really struggling right now because getting paid per episode and maybe getting his little EP credit that he doesn't deserve. I just don't see how he's making it. But that's just me. So Winter, she aired out a whole lot. And I will put her video links that I listened to in the description box so that you can go and check it out if you have not listened to it, let, listened to it yet. The videos are a little bit on the longer side, but 
If you're doing other stuff, you can listen to it and multitask if you want to do that. That's what I usually do. But I don't, I don't foresee what Carlos has been doing working out that much longer for him. Because let's be honest, the Bravo Real Housewives franchise and, you know, those cities, they have been coming on for years. And even those have dried up a bit and they are going to have to make some changes and do some things. But I have never heard of anyone on any of those Real House Housewives shows or any other reality show, honestly, complaining about not getting paid. I, I, I've never heard it. I've never heard it. And so I don't know how he can continue operating in the way that he's been operating and thinking that he's going to continue to see, you know, success. He's bragged for a long time about how Love and Marriage Huntsville is the number one show on the own network. And I said a while ago that that definitely was not a flex because what was it up against? And still, what is it up against? So Winter has been airing him out, my personal opinion. I'm not saying she called any names, but I believe she's been airing him out. I believe Melody was airing and, you know, coming back at, not even airing him out, but coming back at Carlos, talking about leadership. And I listened to an, a video by Kempire where he was talking about it and he played some clips of Melody discussing it and I'm like yeah to me it definitely sounds like he was talking she was talking about Carlos and possibly Dr. Heavenly too but I just can't listen you know to them to get my take and say yeah 100% that's who she's discussing but I believe that's who she's talking about and I believe that's probably one of the reasons why she hasn't really been promoting the show much it's just like over it you know, I, I know Andy Cohen is messy too, but l let's just be honest. Andy Cohen and Carlos King are not the same people. And <sighs> say what you will, think what you want, but they can't do the same things. They just can't. They just can't. And you already know. And I'm not going to go into all of that. So Carlos, he needs to get a grip. I, I don't know where things are going to go for him in the future. But I mean, it doesn't look like his shows and his things that he's been doing on television are that successful. Like he was flexing about it, you know, before. And I believe that's why he spends a whole lot of his time now on social media blogging. <laughs> like he thinks is something is a dirty word and don't call him a blogger, but that indeed is what he is. So I don't know, but I don't blame Melody for speaking her mind. I definitely don't blame Winter for speaking out and sharing her experience. It sounds like she's on to bigger and better things. And I'm happy, happy about it because nobody deserves to be mistreated for the sake of a dollar and for the sake of views and ratings, especially for the one who is benefiting the most, but wants to, like I said, throw the rock and hide his hand. So guys, you can let me know what you think about the things that Winter had to say, the things that Melody was talking about. Again, I will put the links to the videos in the description box. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.